I will try to do here uh, to tell the story of the last 10 years of Lisbon in 10 minutes and 10 slides, okay? And like a previous speaker told us, beauty is also important. And I think that Lisbon is a very, very beautiful city, and that played a part in what happened in the last 10 years. Now, to explain to you who I am, I'm responsible for the investment uh, promotion of um, Agency of Lisbon, and uh, it's a kind of a private-public partnership, and a special, I would say it's a case study, because it's a kind of a public-private startup. We are only two persons, and we do a lot of things. I'm especially proud of a project that I will mention, mention later, that is Startup Lisboa, a business incubator. But I'm not here to talk about Invest Lisboa, I'm talking about, I would like to talk about Lisbon. And Lisbon in 2007 was bankrupt, was in loss of inhabitants, in a process, a long process of loss of inhabitants. It was completely degraded, it was not degraded, it was, it was collapsing, the city center. I don't know if you were there at the, the time, Buildings were collapsing. Every week, a building collapsed. Uh, people ask me, what's happening here in this city? And the, of course, the people were completely unmotivated. Okay, so what happened? So that in 2015, 2016, and hopefully this year, we are beating all time records of, in real estate investment, tourism, and entrepreneurship. Let me tell you regarding tourism, we were always strong on tourism. But in these years, tourism has grown by double digits. It's, it's amazing. It's 14, 15, 16 percent. It's a really big growth. Entrepreneurship didn't exist in 2007. Today, we are considered to be uh, one of the top European startup cities. And real estate investment uh, also, it was uh, amazingly the, the, the transformation. Now, the media played a big role. They saw it happen, and they played a big role. BBC came and told us that uh, Lisbon was Europe, Europe's best work and played capital. Wallpaper said that we were the best city in the world, but perhaps they were exaggerating a little bit. Uh, but I think they really liked that uh, new museum of uh, arts and architecture that you can see in the, in the picture. They were, of course, Wallpaper is a design magazine. Um, Monocle, they also said many good things about Lisbon, and we are uh, very proud that they have done, done it. And in entrepreneurship, we won, uh, in 2005, we were considered to be the capital by the European Union, the capital of entrepreneurship in Europe. And just uh, two weeks ago, we won another big uh, award by the European Union uh, in a contest called the Eurovision for Startups, and in fact, we also win the Eurovision this year. I don't know if you, if you saw it. And uh, we're the European Championship of Football last year. But, you know, and, uh, uh, and, but this was the cherry on the top for entrepreneurship. The Web Summit, it's a the huge event for startups and entrepreneurs and venture capitalists. And they had been in, in Dublin for many years. It was a huge success. And they grow so much that, that they decided that they had to change the city. They look for some city uh, around, probably around Europe, and they decided on Lisbon. And they decided on Lisbon, it's a, it's a nice story, because the entrepreneurs of Lisbon started contacting them a lot, and they saw that there was a movement, and they saw what, what was going on in the city. And this, this event, it's, it's really also, like I told, the cherry on top, it's going to stay there for at least three years, and it's, it's also contributing for the success of the city. Now, the question is, was infrastructure, investment in infrastructure, the key to the reverse of Lisbon? Yes and no. Yes, we already had lots of infrastructure. We already had this bridge. This bridge, when it was built in 98, was one of the biggest in Europe, I think. We already had lots of things. Otherwise, it would be impossible for the Web Summit to go there, okay? So there was already infrastructures there. But I would say um, that a big part of the success were like legal or soft infrastructures, urban planning, reorganization of the city, partnerships, incentives, legislation, leadership. It changed, it, it had a tremendous effect. So not only, of course, the existing infrastructure and 
because the city was bankrupt, they could not, they didn't afford, they couldn't afford to start investing in large scale projects. But what they did was they did hundreds of small projects spread in the city. And Startup Lisboa, very, very small project, a million euros project, started, we made it through the participatory budget of Lisbon. So it was the people that voted that wanted to have a business incubator. And this was the trigger for all that happened afterwards in entrepreneurship. Now, with this success, when I'm talking about success, I'm talking about at our small scale. Lisbon is a small city, okay? We are not comparing ourselves with fantastic cities all over the world and in Europe. We are just comparing to the previous situation. And in fact, it's a huge success for us. Now, this success uh, caused problems also. People are complaining. The, the, the prices of the houses went up a lot. It's not only a Lisbon problem. Many other cities have this problem also. Tourism, the impact of tourism, people are complaining because of this. And so the city has to decide. So we need new infrastructures to deal with the, with the problems of success. And the city, for the, today, the city is launching an affordable housing project to build 7,000 new houses. And because the city cannot invest in this project, they, will, they have designed a project in a way that investors want to build the houses. And the city will use the land that it owns and it will give the, the land for free in order to attract investors to, to do it. And Beato Creative Hub, another example, it's, it was the previous speaker tell us about that. The government has lots of empty spaces all over the city and we are taking advantage, we made a partnership, the city and the government, and to rent a huge old factory that was empty for a long time, and we are going to create this amazing, amazing space for IT companies, startups, business incubators, co-working spaces. It's a major, major project. And, well, uh, I hope I have time in, during the, the panel to, to say a little bit more about this, but I won't want to keep you uh, now. Thank you very much. <laughs>